people to be all up in my business. We're ready. We're rolling. <laughs> Welcome back, Eat at the Table. I got Armani here with me. Hi. She's a special guest for the one-on-one. -on -one. Yes. And we just going to jump right into the topics and everything because she's ready. She's spicy. Yes, you know what I'm saying? I am. So she just told me that she don't trust nobody because of her ex now. She don't trust nobody because of her ex. Tell me why. Well, I trust my friends. No, no, no. We ain't talking about your friends. We talking about men. This is a relationship show. Don't try to sugarcoat it. You just told me off camera you All don't right. trust nobody. I don't trust men because what I experienced. I don't want to be that type of person that's like making my hurt cause my trauma cause like me to be like a person who have trust issues or anything like that but I just think that I don't want to be a naive person anymore. Yeah. What did he do that's so bad that make you feel like that you can't trust nobody? Did he cheat? Because all, all women think cheating is, a, is the grail. Like, he cheated. I can't trust nobody. Did he just cheat? No, he didn't cheat. Well, who knows if he cheated? I don't know if he cheated. Well, well, Maybe he, he did. I don't know. He just decided, like, yo, I need a, I need a break. And then he just left me. Just you know? woke up one day. Yeah, and said, so over. like you you wake up one day with different feelings. So that made me feel like, you know, I can't trust anybody because I don't ever know what you're feeling or what your intentions are. And I think that's what anybody though. Like when you first meet somebody, you don't know what their intentions are at all. Well, did you take time? Did you get to know him? I don't know if y'all had sex and y'all got together, whatever, <laughs> but was it a quick situation? It was. It was, I guess we didn't know each other like that, so I guess, yeah. And how long did it last, though? About two years. So you, if you didn't know somebody when you jumped into the situation, right? Mm -hmm. Two years is, is a long time. Do you think that you know him now? I do. I do. I okay, so in two years that you got to know him, you have no idea why he woke up and said, I need a change today. Well, it's me too. I hate I, obviously, like I'm not innocent. I don't okay. think that I'm innocent at all. But I think that when you have an issue with somebody, you should vocalize that and you should say, like, you know, I don't like X, Y, Z, or I don't, you know, I'm not feeling this. And then a person can have an idea of what they need to fix. But if you just wake up one day and tell me like it's a problem and I don't know what I should be able to resolve, how can I fix a problem if I don't know what the problem is? Don't we all know right from wrong, now? Don't Obviously. You know, if, if, if you saying that it was you too, that you know you was doing things, right? And most men, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just going to keep it real. Us as men, we don't like talking about what the problems are because it's depicted funny. We're looked at as weak. We're looked at as bitter. We're looked at as complainers. So when men do tell you how they really feel, I, I'm, I'm not feeling that. It turns into, well, you sound like this, and I don't understand why this, and I don't understand why that. You just, if you just take everything in, mm -hmm. and you don't tell a person how you really feel, like, yo, I don't like what you did here, or I don't, if you're not trying to fix anything, and you're just building problems up, you're building up reasons to leave that person instead of fixing it. So you told him all your problems, you didn't keep nothing to yourself, is that what you telling me? So you was, yes. I'm just telling you everything that's on my mind. Yes. I, 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 I want you to a... know me, and he yes. just walked away from you for no reason. Yes. I don't believe that. I think that women... You know that that's I not true. I think that women have no problem telling a man exactly how they feel. Men don't take it in. And then they decide, they complain about, oh, it's nagging, or... Yeah, it's just nagging to them, and they don't want to hear it, and then that's how more problems start. Like, honestly, the problems in my relationship, my previous relationship, was repetitive. It, it kept being the same problem because what, it wasn't what's that? solved. What's the problem? <sighs> he was worried about you cheating on him? You cheated on him already? No, I never cheated. I never well, cheated. Well, what was the issue? Because you're trying to keep it. There was a problem that you're not saying because you, you gave me a little tidbit that you know that you did some things too. I, don't, I didn't do anything. You didn't do nothing? He had a kid. Okay. And? And I don't. <laughs> so it's just like when you're dealing with baby mama drama and he doesn't understand and he's not being 
He's not being supportive of, like, I'm not one of those girl. I wasn't one of those girlfriends that's like, fuck your baby mother and, like, curse her out and, you know, like, trying to be problematic. I wasn't that. I was okay. trying to be, keep the peace and, like, you know, you and your baby brother, y'all need to build and y'all need to have but a good connection. What was the a issue? Good, because mm -hmm. the issue was, I don't know. I think the issue was a little bit of his baby mother and his family, both. Is he young, too? Like you? No. I'm 24. He was 30. He's well, still young, 29. too. Like, when you're 29, you're 24, you're still trying to work it out. When I had my, my own daughter, I actually was really young, too. And I took on a whole lot of pressures, and there was a lot of women that I dealt with mm -hmm. that didn't really get the fact that I had a daughter and I was young and the type of demands that my baby mother put on me. See, she put me in, in a corner. Oh, if you date me, these women, I'm going to take you to court. You're not going to see your kid. So we deal with a whole lot of mental drama that our counterpart doesn't get until they have their own kid. And I'm just going to say this, because I was with a girl that gave me grief. Oh, she's going to be all right. I grew up without my father. She's going to be okay. But I didn't deal with it like that. She expected you to not be a dad? I'm not saying that, but she, she was trying to get me to not feel guilty about not seeing my daughter as much as I wanted to see her. So saying no. that she's going to be... Let me just finish, mm -hmm. right? I'm just saying just the different pressures that come from not saying that you're doing that, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But when that type of thing occurs, it, 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 it's a mental thing that goes on when you really want to be a good father that you don't want these other women meaning the baby mothers to affect what I got going on with somebody like if I was dealing with you but it does because I can't tell you everything that's going on because we're still getting to know each other so that could cause a big gap in the communication that we have because like I said men don't want to say yo I'm, I'm they don't want to cry because of their kid. They don't want to tell you that they feel this way because of their kid because they don't want to be depicted as weak. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that keep, that causes a, a big friction between the person that you really like. So I understand what you're saying. Dealing with the kid was a hard thing, but he could be in, in like a learning process too. I think he was, and I'm not... I'm not against that. Like, I think that every part of life you learn as you go, but... It's a little bit different because I was like more on the supportive side. Like I wouldn't deal with a guy who has a kid and not tell him like you you should be there for you. I shouldn't even have to tell you that. Like you should just know like be there for your kid. And he was 100% that. Like he was always there for his kid. His kid came first and I supported that 1000%. Mm -hmm. But the problem was his baby mother always having something to say negatively about me. Mm -hmm. I didn't like that. And I didn't like that he didn't stand up for me when it came to things like that. So that's where I feel like the issues came apart along. Um, he might have had a problem with doing that because it was going to cause another problem with her. But why? Because don't nobody want to hear that. If a woman is still really loving the man that they don't have anymore, all you're trying to do is keep peace. Yeah. See, I'm I'm married now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. When I first was with my wife, my baby mother caused me a lot of trouble. She wasn't trying to hear it until she saw it in her face. I had my daughter there. I said, yo, we need to get out of here because we need to get to your mother on, 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 on time. They was laughing, joking, playing around. I said, yo, don't do that because y'all don't know what I go through. Mm -hmm. Okay? We pulled up on them. She went crazy. They saw what I went through. They apologized to me, and we never had a problem about my baby moms again. Well, that's good for you. Yeah, but you don't know. But I'm saying, being with her for years, she didn't know what I was going through because I tried to keep it away from her because I, I didn't want to cause you no problem. She said bullshit about my wife before she was my wife, too. You know what I'm saying? I'm not arguing with a whole other woman that has nothing to do with my life about the woman that I'm with now. That's right. dumb. Mm -hmm. So if, if 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 my wife, which was my girl at, at, at that time, was upset with me because she's saying all these crazy things about me, I'm not going to argue further with somebody who I'm not with that you know I'm, I don't get along with. That's why I'm not with her no more. Mm -hmm. So if you're mad about that, we need to put that to the back 
because he got bigger things that he's dealing with, with the kid, with trying to maintain you, trying to deal with his his um, kid's mother, trying to get money, trying to do things for you, trying to keep you excited about being with him. It's a lot of things that go on that we don't say. You know what I'm saying? And we should say, but we're afraid to say. Mm -hmm. And that's man shit. Y'all don't know that we're afraid to be, be um, vulnerable with everything that we got going on. But you want us to. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's a double-edged sword because you got women that use that against you too. So what you think about that? I think that the women who use vulnerability against you, they don't really, they don't really care about you. So no women really care because most of them use the vulnerability. No, they don't. You don't I don't. Think so? No. Why you say that? I feel like a lot of women want men to be more uh, vulnerable, more sensitive, more. They don't like those dudes. Though. As, they don't like those dudes though. At in the beginning, no. I don't want to know. <laughs> okay, I, I don't want to. Okay. I don't want to know. No, I don't want to know that in the beginning. Okay. But when we further down the line, I want to know what's the problem. What's further? further to you. Further down the line is when we in a relationship. Whenever oh. it's a problem, whenever you feeling like you got your back against the wall, like I want to be able to help you. I want to be able to be your partner, be a team, and get through this together. But how can I do that if I don't know your issues or what's going on in your life or, you know, your personal issues? How, how can I help you? I can't if I don't know what's going on. So in the beginning, I feel like it's a little annoying. Like you're like, ugh. Especially if you don't like the guy like that. Like, sometimes when you first get into a relationship and it hits you out of nowhere, like, you don't really like the guy like that or that's, that'd be the best relationships. Like, when you don't really see yourself with the person and then all of a sudden you start to notice, like, oh, I'm catching feelings for this person and I really like them. So, yeah, I think the best relationships start when you don't really expect it to happen and you just really don't like the guy at first. And then all of a sudden you're like, dang, I really like this guy. Like... He's doing everything I've been at, like wanting, and he's just your expectations. And then you notice you fall in love, you fell in love with this guy, and it's just like, dang, I wasn't even interested in the beginning. So what happened? But yeah, I think that, yeah. That's what you like about it when you don't know somebody better. But what if you get to know them? You know what I'm saying? First, what if you know them already, and then you wasn't romantically involved, and now you you um cross that bridge? Is I that, don't do that. Is that different? I don't do that. I don't, well, I think that what you're saying is as far as friendships. So mm -hmm. I don't cross the line of, like, if I call you my bro, it can never be a situation where I'm like, dang, I'm feeling him now. Because I don't try to cross that line because I don't want to ruin our friendship. So if we have a friendship before I notice that I like you, I'm just going to keep it like that. If you're the bro, you're always going to be the bro. You're not going to be, well, for me, you're not going to be, a romantic partner, I'm not gonna cross that line because I just don't want to ruin our friendship. And I think that that's what everyone should like, you know, live by. Why would any man want to be friend zoned by a pretty woman? Tell me that, Ex explain that to me. Why would he want to be your bro? What's the advantage of that? It's crazy that you say that because like, I just met a guy and he was like, Obviously, my intentions aren't to be your friend. Like, I want a little bit more. And I'm just like, I don't look at that guy as that. I don't know. I think no that mm -hmm. if we if we hit it off and we're vibing and we're, we, we enjoy each other's conversation and we enjoy each other's company, why do it have to just be a dating scene? Why does it have to be exclusive or sex or anything? It Nobody could... said exclusive. We talk about sex. We didn't say exclusive now. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just saying, if, if there's a pretty female, a man don't want to be friend zoned by a pretty female. They he not will doing be, that. though. He, you think he will be. But then he'll walk away eventually. No, he will he will be. And he'll hold off and he'll be on standby until he has his chance. Until he feels like, oh, maybe she needs a shoulder to cry on or whatever. And then he'll have his chance or whatever. But that guys are not just going to be like, nah, she's trying to friends on me. I got to I gotta dip on her. No. A guy is just going to fake it like he your friend. So you be and around a whole. Smash. So she she's with a whole bunch of sympties. Y'all gotta y'all gotta know what's going on here. 
She's not talking about men like me. She's talking about sympties that's going to wait around <laughs> and do whatever they got to do to be in the shadows so they can get their little chance. And she's already telling you, once you friend zone, you friend zone, period. So why would you even go that route and try to even be with this woman once she calls you bro? Don't even waste your time. No, but some women are different. So don't forget, some women are different than me. When I call you bro, you're strictly bro. But, however, a lot of women are out here screwing their bros. <laughs> so <laughs> you just got to keep it real. That's just the generation we're living in. So it's just like he's bro for now, but later on down the line, say if my, my main dude or my side dude act up and I need somebody to talk to, if you acting, if you spitting game and you know how to talk, What's up? I see. I did. <laughs> now, now she's being real now. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm talking about. So don't be in the bro category. There's no advantages of being the bro. She's telling you this. I've been telling you this since I've been on this show. Be about your business. Be straightforward. If they're saying no, believe them. Stop thinking that they're telling you things when they don't want to be bothered with you and then you think that you're going to change their mind. Believe what they say. Go the route that you want to go for yourself because they don't care about your feelings oh. like you think that they do. Okay? I say the same thing about men. What? I say the same thing about men. What? And what is the... Stick to your script, ladies. Don't... What's the script, though? I'm telling you whatever, the script. Whatever the script? you... Whatever they want. A lot of women know they want relationships. But then they settle for guys who are just stringing them along, and they're like, oh, what are we, what are we? Yeah, nothing. Stick to your script. Lay all your boundaries down at first and just tell them, like, look, I'm looking for X, Y, Z. I'm looking to be in a relationship, whatever. If he not looking for a relationship, don't take him serious, period, because he already told you he not looking for a relationship. Uh, but you do know women got a shelf life, right? So you popping all this shit, <laughs> right? She's popping all this stuff. But women got a shelf life, so she's 24. She got 11 more popping years out here if she's lucky. I'm going to be lucky. If she's lucky. <laughs> this is what we're talking about. So while they popping it, she's 24 right now. She looks like candy. She has no babies, right? She hasn't been through nothing. She hasn't gone through nothing to gain no weight. She don't look like she drink a lot, right? So she's not gaining no weight. Look at her drink. It's still here, all right? So she got 11 more years, but while, but when those 11 years go by, she's going to be sitting up there saying, this is what he was talking about. This is where he was standing that saying, why, why are these women making these decisions with these men thinking that they're going to tell them what's up, they're going to be sympty, and they're going to win in the end. There is no winning if you're looking for a sympty dude. A simp or a sympty is failure, Okay. You're looking for somebody who's going to be straight up and tell you how they really feel, but you can't take the truth. So where are we going to go from here? Women can definitely take the truth. No, they cannot. They want the truth. They say they do. But as soon as you give them the truth, it's an issue. Why can't it be an issue? No, that means that you don't want it. Because if, if there's a problem with me telling you the truth, why would I give it to you? There is no reason for me to tell you the truth if you're going to give me a problem about it. I'm telling you the truth because I'm trying to get closer to you. I'm trying to show you who I am, right, without mm -hmm. judgment. So, I disagree. Okay. Tell me why. Because men lie to you so they can get closer to you. Men don't tell you the truth. What you going to say? Oh, I'm, I'm talking to five different girls. Yeah. She not going to take it serious? Yes, she will. No, she not? Yes, she will. Every she woman likes a man who gets a lot of vagina. Nobody wants a herb. You're I'm not, not going to be you're I'm, not going to be with a man. You're obviously, not. I want to think that, but I don't want to know that. Why not? You don't want to That's why I just said you said you want to know the truth. I said no, they don't. I just said it. I said, they, I said, women say that they want to know the truth. And I, and I said, no, they don't. I told you the truth. You said, I don't want to know that. Because guess what? Okay, so what I'm trying to say is I want you to be honest with me, mm -hmm. but I want it to be an option for me to mess with you or not. I don't want you. And most guys okay. lie to you to get what they want before you can 
like before you catch feelings. So now you caught feelings or whatever, and now they're telling you the truth. Why do that? Because now I'm serious about you now. No, that's not I don't true. Want, I don't. I don't want to lead you down the wrong road. I like you now. I didn't like you before. I had said I was. I saw you. You was pretty. I didn't like you. Right. Once we had sex, I like her now. So since I like her now, I don't want to lead you down the wrong lion road. I'm going to tell you the truth on what's going on. This is me. And I hope that the sex and the love and the affection and the euphoria was so dope that you're going to accept me for my truth. Men lie so that they can get you where they want you to be, so they can get you to catch feelings, and it'll be harder for you to leave them alone. And then they decide to tell the truth, a little bit of the truth, once they know, I gotta, like, I gotta, where I want her to be. And it's just like, damn, now she blowing you up, she she doing the most, and... We like has... that. We like that, though. That's, that's exciting. Blow me up. Do the most. I love it. That means that what I'm doing to you is working. <laughs> it's true. This is how we think. If you're not blowing me up, if I'm fucking with you, that's why you gotta put ladies. That's why you gotta play the game. Like you gotta, you gotta just blow him up, act like you're a little crazy. You don't give a fuck about. That. See. And then, but you gotta stick to your script. That's what I'm saying. You gotta stick to your script. You gotta know what you want. But because listen if you to don't, it. you're gonna be in your feelings, and it's gonna be hard, and it's gonna be miserable, and you're gonna feel like you got your first breakup again, and that's not how we wanna feel. But Armani. Yes. I never said play a game. You no. went from me telling you the truth about myself because to saying the women got to play the game. How are you going to play the game? If I'm being serious and I'm being straight up, if you play the game with me, how are we going to succeed? We're never going to succeed. But I feel like everything is a game, to be honest. Why? Because it's not just one woman. Like you said, it's competition. That's it's, a game. It's 20 to 1. No, y'all. Exactly. The women are playing the game. The men are chilling. No, the it's men got to play a game too, and that's the key. Which you, ones are playing the game? The sympathies or the ones that you really want to be with? Which ones are playing the game? Because the dude that you told me about, he didn't seem like he was playing no games with you. He was straight up with you. You didn't like it, though. So why wouldn't he play a game to keep you? See, you looked at him like, oh, you just telling me whatever and I don't like it. Instead of saying, well, at least he's telling me the truth. Because you just told me men will lie to you to get whatever they want. But then when he's telling the truth and telling you about the feelings, you don't like that neither. Because it's too soon for that. So, where, so where, where do I go then? If I'm a man and I'm trying to be with you, and I got a kid like your boyfriend, your ex-boyfriend had, mm -hmm. what would his route be to keep you? And, 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 and like, really want to be with him and have you secure about being with him beyond what he did already? Well, to be honest, I was secure. So that's probably the what was the problem. I was comfortable. I was secure. Um... But I think that it's important to still be, like, even outside of the cupcake or honeymoon stage, like, you still need to have that funness and that energy. Mm hmm Definitely. Right? Mm hmm And you need, I feel like it's important to reassure your partner that, like, yo, you look beautiful, you look handsome or whatever, or, you know, just gas mm -hmm. each other up because... A lot of people, once they get into that where they feel comfortable with each other, they don't. They feel like they don't have to do that anymore. So, it's important to reassure your partner and make sure that they understand what you're appreciative of them about or for. Um, but yeah. Did you do that? Did, do you feel like that you did that with him, and he turned his head, or do you feel like that now you realize that you could have did that a little bit more? No. I feel like I definitely did that. So why he bound? Because I think it was maybe his family issues. His he's not conf he wasn't confrontation at all, confrontational at all. So maybe it was, you know, he was a very family oriented person. So maybe it was his family in his ear. I got into it with his family too. So that's oh, like <laughs> here we go, here we go. We finally <laughs> found it out. I said because it gotta be something. I said because you know what, men don't leave pretty female. Women that look like this, 
they don't just wake up and okay, bounce so on them. You just leave you just leave a woman because she got into a little bit hiccup with your cousins? That's just corny. Women don't men don't leave women willingly that look like this. Something occurred, and that's why I wanted to get down to the bottom of things because she said, yo, we see we we was going good. He's this and he's that. But then we finally get down to it. Oh, I had a problem with the family. Mm -hmm. Family to somebody who's tight with their family is an it's issue. Mm -hmm. Major. I know. Right? Mm -hmm. Major problems. So whether you're right or wrong or not, the next relationship that you have or if you get back with him, stay out the family way. Oh, I know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Stay, stay out <laughs> their way because it could go left or right whether you're right or or wrong. Mm -hmm. You follow what I'm saying? That's a lesson. Maybe you needed to learn that because you're young. I don't know if you care, but, but she's 24 years old. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So right now, at least she's learning at this age so she could be better when it's time for you to get with somebody that's really going to be there for the long term. Right. Because you don't want to be 35, 40 years old, which seems like it's far off, but it's not. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You don't want to be there learning these lessons that you're learning right now, because believe it or not, there are women that's just learning these lessons in their 40s or late 30s, and they're gonna be by themselves for the rest of their life. You know what I'm saying? So you're not off with what you're doing. You're actually right in pocket. I feel like men of this generation, they're either really controlling or like you guys just want it your way. Well, what do you want from the man? What are you looking for then? Since we want it this way, what are you looking for? What way do you want it? Well, I'm young and I'm turned. I want a guy who understands that. Like, I want a guy who understands that I'm young. I'm going to live life. I'm not going to, if I'm in a relationship with you, I'm not going to cheat. But respect the fact that, you know, I'm going to live my life and be supportive of that. Be supportive of, babe, go out, do this, do that, and, you know, just, be my number one fan. Like, that's what I would like in a guy. So you want to be mixy and you want me to support you being mixy. Is that what you're saying? No. So what are you saying? Be your number one fan, support you, let you go out. What do you want to do? Forget the man. What do you want to do that you want him to cooperate with? I want him to be confident in a room full of ballers, millionaires or whatever, and be like, confident like that's my woman like she's not gonna do anything to jeopardize what we have going on and I think that men are insecure about things like that and mm -hmm. yeah well why wouldn't they be well why would they be? because pretty women rule the world this is what we know so based upon what we know we're looking to f try to figure out what it is that you want okay so you want me to be confident what else do you want from me do you want me taking care of you yeah. do you want me spending your money well tell well you know what i'm saying do you want me spending my money do you want to go on trips is that what you're looking for from yes, a man well for you sure. need to tell them that so we could say but why do a woman have to tell a, a man how to treat her i feel I like any man who's about it like they're gonna be about it like they know how to treat a woman they know what type of you know what type of woman you're dealing with by the first time you even link with her like if she's a go-getter if she's just a finesser like you know what type of woman you're dealing with so i think that you should be able to pick this apart and understand like all right i'm gonna treat her differently i'm gonna separate her from the others like jay-z said like you know oh here we go with the quotables here we go here we go with the quotables but again like jay-z said what yes jay-z said like you the problem is you're treating the, the one that you're loving with the same respect that you treat the one that you're humping they exactly like you can't you gotta know how to play women and you have to know when you have a valuable woman but on you your said shoulders. but you said a key word play women Mm -hmm. And that's what men do. And they don't, and women say, you gotta know how to deal with me, you gotta know how to play me, whatever you want, a language that you wanna do. And then when we do, you still have a problem with it. That's because they call it feelings. But it's men's, it's a man's problem if you let a woman catch feelings. I mean, that's something that you probably can't control. How am I but gonna stop that? Because, because you guys talk a good game. They talk a good game. They say, oh, they. We're talking about past talk. No. What if, what if I lay you down and my, and my dick game is popping? I ain't got it. I'm not talking. I'm not saying nothing. And I'm knocking your head off and you love it. Then what? 
How can I control that? Because I'm putting my all into this because so you know, I want you to be tripping. I want you to feel like you can't live without me. You can't do nothing without me. That's what motivates us. Yeah, but that's that's what women who don't know what they want. I feel like you know women that, that know what they want. Yeah, I don't know. I, know I don't I know too many. Women put a lot of stock in cheating. I right? don't. I never but, was the type to be dudes, like, oh, dudes, cheating is, is is a factor. But there's other things. Like there's other ways to be disloyal without just cheating. You know what I'm saying? Like we can come to some type of agreement and you break the agreement for a man that that fucks with us because we trust you and say, yo, this is what we're gonna do. Mm -hmm. And you turn around and you do something that you wanna do that fucks with our mind. You know what I'm saying? With women, the, the thing that they would say, oh, he cheated, he cheated, he cheated, he cheated. And I'll be like, yo, bro, bro, it's so many other things than cheating that'll make a man not fuck with you and go cheat because he just doesn't trust. Trust doesn't just lie with fucking, am I gonna leave you with my money? Are you gonna spend it? Are you gonna be there when I need you to be there? Are you gonna talk to your friends about the things that we supposed to keep together? Like there's so many other things besides cheating, but for some reason, women they are hung up on, and I'm not saying cheating is cool, I'm not. I'm just saying, it's 30 million other things beside cheating. And a woman will say, well, I kept it. I did. I lied to you. I didn't do what you asked me to do. I didn't listen. But guess what? I didn't cheat on you. So what, right? So you think that because you didn't cheat and you do these other foul things, I'm just supposed to be chilling with you and this is but, cool? It's not cool. But don't you think you should mention that? Like, you should say what was the problem or, like, what she did wrong or like what could she correct? Totally. But exactly. how many women but let's be real. Do y'all listen? Yeah. No, you don't. I mean most women don't listen. All right then. So most stop women talking. don't listen. Most women don't listen, but I'm not gonna say that I'm perfect or anything, but I definitely take into consideration what the person that I'm with is saying and I try to like, you know, be genuine and try to accommodate them in any way that I can to make you feel happy and comfortable or whatever. But also, you have to meet my needs as well. But that's so, a perfect world. That's... that's but, that, but that's the perfect world. See, when we're not on camera, you're telling me how you really feel as if it's not a perfect world, right? All I'm trying to figure out is what do you want? If I want to be with you, right, mm -hmm. in your world, fuck my world, your world, what do you want for me to do or a man to do in your world to keep you here and keep you pleased. Tell me that. I think a lot of women in this generation, outside of just me, like I think a lot of women can relate that we want someone who's um, stable. We want someone that we know have our back 100%. And also, like we want to be catered to. So we want to be spoiled. We want to be reassured. We want to feel like... Like, even if we're not the baddest chick in the world, that we the baddest to you. And I think that once a man gets you, they, like, lack that. So, like, once a man feel like he got you, he just don't got to reassure you and he don't got to do X, Y, Z because that honeymoon stage is over. But really, that's what keeps a person intrigued and, like, interested is when you keep reminding them, like, baby, you look beautiful. Or, like, it's the little things. It's not about... Um, paying rent or like splitting rent or what you can because I know that's a big topic for people nowadays but it's not about what you can do for me it's about like the little things like I just want to be reassured for me and for most women out there it's like we just want to be reassured that you know you're still what we want what you want because it's mad bad chicks out here that's like fiending especially if you were a dude that everybody want. Like, if you, if you somebody that, because I'm not going to be with you, if you, you doing something wrong, if nobody don't want your man. Like, if you don't want, if nobody don't want your man, get a new one. And vice versa. If nobody wants your chick, get a new one. And it's just like, people going to want your chick or your man, but you just got to make sure that they understand that they number one. Like, nobody come before that. And, yeah, just prioritizing. I think that that's what it's about. And that's what 
makes a strong, successful relationship. Like, make sure that that person know how much you value them and how much you appreciate them and what what they worth is. You don't think that that type of thing wears off? Because that because as a man, I don't express that until I really like a woman. And for men, like what you're talking about, that you know that they could get women is few and far in between women that we really really like mm-hmm. right so if you're really basing it upon that and i'm just giving you a jewel like if he's not doing that he don't really like you already i already know like, that like like once he's with you if if he's not telling you damn yo you look good you you know what i'm saying blah 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 blah, blah. like that's what we normally do if he's not doing that i shouldn't say this cuz i don't like to go against my man he just hitting it, and he just it's spicy, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? We can do fun things together. But if I'm not going further and making you comfortable and telling you nice things on a regular basis, we don't really like you. I agree with that because women, we try to paint our own pictures and we we try to see things for what they're not. But at the same time, it's just like. Men are pretenders, so I feel like you can cap and lie about, like, you could you could act like, you know, she the baddest chick you ever dealt with, mm-hmm. whatever. But then once you get her, once you smash, She's it's not just, the baddest chick no more. Exactly. She takes her makeup off. Exactly. It's just like... She takes her wig off. You're not, you're not, <laughs> e- you're not even reaching out to her no more. You're not texting her constantly. You're not double texting her. Like, it's just like, dang, and now she's tripping over you. She lied to me from the beginning. Why? You know why? Because she don't look like she look with her makeup on. She walks in. She takes her wig off. She has a fake butt. But she got no, her shit worked on her stomach. You're not who you are for real. But shouldn't you're, men, shouldn't men... Accept that though. Why? Because you you not accepting her for her real self, like her fake self. I'm not accepting no, her. No, that, that's fake not self. her fake self. That's just her best self. And what they oh, say, okay. what they say. Okay. If he can't accept me on my worst, he don't deserve me on my best. Period. So it's just like, accept me on my best self. I'm gonna always put it on and I'm gonna always be that chick. But when it's time to lay down and put my scarf or bonnet on or whatever, you got to know what it is. Like, it's not always good okay, to Okay, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a real question. If, and I hope this is not too vulgar. If, I, if we about to have sex and I pull my shit out, right, and it look like it's 11 inches, but I'm, 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 I'm capping, and I put it in, and it's six, is that cool? Accept me for my real self? I don't got an 11-inch dick. I got a six-inch dick. Are you going to accept me for my real self? I think that women fake it all the time. I'm not asking you that. Would you accept me for my real self? That's like you going in, taking your makeup off. This isn't what you look like. Right now, you look good as fuck. But if you take your shit off and I'll be like, nah, she don't look the same. Is that acceptable? Yes, because that's a bit shallow. Don't you think? Don't everybody have a bad side of them or like an ugly? Like, I've met plenty of dudes where I feel like, dang, he look good. Like, I want to, you know, da, da, da. But then once I'm with him, I'm like, oh, he's turning me off. His, his bo- he wear corny box like. But he looks he the w- same. No, but it's just certain things that's turning me off. Okay. The same right. thing with that's a woman, fair, fair. like. But we still give the Benny. We still get a benefit of doubt. Oh, the <laughs> Benny, I. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, you just have to. I I feel like men need to understand that women aren't perfect, even though we might portray ourselves as that at first or whatever. We're not perfect. Like, we're going to have down days where our hair is a mess or whatever. But at the end of the day, when it's time to dress it up and make it real for you, we're going to make that happen, too. But you act perfect. What, what? I mean, that doesn't mean nothing. I think that you should be able to tell if someone's acting or if they really... How are you going to do that? If they a- acting, I don't know what they're doing. They're acting. They're good. They're really good at what they do. How am I going to know? I think that that's literally something that you just need to know. Like, so for instance, I could know, if I just meet a guy in the club, Mm -hmm. I could know if he's like a sustainable dude or if he's just like... you can't. I could know if he's just... No, you can't. I'm not even going to sit here and let you. I If you meet a guy in the club and he meets you looking like this... It's only one thing. He trying to tap that. That's okay, it. that's fine. Because we in the club. But okay. Then while, while we're texting or whatever, I could know if he's like 
a reasonable dude or if he's just like a scammer, drug dealer type from dude. From a text? Yes. You gifted. From a text? You could notice that from when you first meet somebody. No? I don't think so. You can't notice if a girl is a finesse or if she's like somebody that you not really need to. Not when you first meet them. Nah. Not when, I mean, there are a couple that just have the look. But no, we just talked about this on the last segment, that men have sex with women, and they fall in love with the vagina, and they get blinded. They don't know. Well, they women, think that women do the same them. thing. Women do the same thing. They think that they're going to change them. You know what I'm saying? So no, we don't know. So in your world, what's the difference between your world and how you feeling? And, and you got time to think about this. Your world and how you feeling pertaining to how I feel about men. Because for me, as a man, I've had, I've been around the block with pretty women that think the way that you think, and most of them, to be real, and I'm not trying to be funny, they lose in the end. Because it's 21 to 1 out here. There's way more women than men. Yo, thank you for joining us. Like, subscribe, and comment. We appreciate the love that you've been giving us. Please keep giving us the love. Join the Super Chats. Follow the cast members, and please keep joining us for these taboo topics that nobody else shares with the world. Shout out to my whole fam and the whole cast and our friend. Armani. There you go. Bye, guys. Thank you so much.